Okay, welcome back. This is episode 72. 72. Yeah. Um, I know, right? That's correct, right? I know, I said it Wait, too, that's wrong. weird. Because yeah. like 70, 69, 71, 70, 71. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yelled it. Um, make sure that you're following us on Instagram, TikTok, that you're subscribed on YouTube. Yep. Is that all YouTube's the YouTube's growing. Yeah, it is. It's growing. It's growing. We're, we're getting there. We need our 1,000 1, followers. Yeah, yep. be part so of it. Do a music video. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. Yeah, I want to miss these see, uh, shimmies. Yeah, this shimmy shimmy. That's all I'm gonna do in the background <laughs> while you guys do real dance moves. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Let's get to some updates. This is Ashley, Molly, Kim, and Tara. We are four best friends who, by fate, moved into the same cul-de-sac. We talk all things mom, wife, and woman. We are Moms Take Five. Oh, here we are. We're back. Yes. Did we have updates? Back in black. And it's been effect. almost a full week. Because yeah. we record uh-huh. Sunday night and yes. it's Friday yep. today. True. Correct. I have a, We have an update, don't we, Molly? We do. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's hear about yeah, it. Yeah, half of my toes are done. <laughs> no. Well, yes, from the no, previous time. No, half of time. my toes are removed. removed. Yes. <laughs> half of the polish on my toes <laughs> is gone. Half of her toes have polish removed. We didn't try to get our toes off. No, we did no. not remove her toes. Right. <laughs> Just the um, polish. <laughs> I, uh, what was that, Thursday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, long day. Mm-hmm. Um, brought my kid over, was getting my pedicure, and then all of a sudden, he just barfed everywhere. And we kind of looked at each other. And, and then we Ashley ran, but my feet were all wet, so I was like, what about you? <laughs> I did. I like. I, took me a, I rethought oh. that situation. I was like, "Wow, I handled that terribly." No, I was. I just l- sat there for a while and watched Ashley deal with him puking, oh. dry, dry heaving. <laughs> yeah, watched over every dry heaved. I'm I was like, like, "Oh wait, maybe I should get She's up like, Don't out do of that. the chair." Don't do that. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ash- like "Let me clean Ash- it." Ash- gonna spew. <laughs> she was. <laughs> well, I just started gagging a little bit. I was like, "Stop!" <laughs> so finally, I wiped off my feet and went over there to help her. I didn't think anything <laughs> about that. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And he, I tried to grab the big garbage can because I thought, well, but then it's like huge. And he's sitting down the ground <laughs> on the ground and I'm like trying to prop under him. And he's like, Ugh, get that away from me. <laughs> yep. It, it was he, awful. He puked a couple times. He did. Right there. Oh. Just sitting right but there. But everything was fine. It was <sighs> fine. It didn't ruin anything. Just spew everywhere. It was on hard floor. So yeah, it lucky. Yeah. Easy. Yep. That is lucky. And Other than she, the cracks. I'm sure it seeps down so under. And stopped out. Sure, I was <laughs> I'm going to bleach the floor so no <laughs> smell comes up through the cracks. I was like, what smells down here? I have here? to replace my floor. Yeah. Coming for you. Man. <laughs> Just oh. bad. That's, I was telling Ashley, that's the worst. When puke happens in a public place. Oh like, my god! Obviously, this is a house, yes. but like, yes. you know what I mean? Somewhere else like, other than your own well, that home. that was the second time because, oh. what, a couple weeks ago, he puked into my hands at church. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Was he flummy then too? Yeah. Oh, so he just has know. a bad gag. And then I think I've, we're giving him milk in the morning, so it's coming up oh, as see. oh curdled. That's Ooh. what it was. Milk. Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so I didn't give him any milk this morning. <coughs> he was totally fine. He's actually fine after his nap. He puked, I think, three more times. One time I caught it in the bag, and he was pissed. He kept trying to move it. And, you're and like, then oh. one time he had a fruit pouch, and I think like sucking that up might have like. Because he walked over to the hard, he walked somehow, he's on the couch, he walked over to the hardwood, looked at me, and just bleh, all over. Well, that's, again, lucky it was on the hard yes. floor. Yes. That's nice. Maybe he's learning that feeling of like, yeah. when you yeah. just Like he's getting mouth. up, like I got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Poor dude. Puking kids is hopefully so hard. Hopefully it's over. I know. So like I said, he took a long nap yesterday and he was fine after that. And then this morning he's been perfectly fine. I held off on milk. We didn't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Milk's danger. Yeah. But he would like, when he woke up from his nap yesterday, he wanted to eat everything. And I was like, you know, you're like terrified to feed them anything. Yep. Uh huh. Like, I don't want anything coming back up. Mm-hmm. But he ate multiple pieces of bread. <laughs> Just give him hey. all white food. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody <laughs> had sent me like this jello water trick. It's oh. supposed to help, I used to like, drink jello water when I was a kid. Really? Uh-huh. It's supposed to help with congestion and like upset tummy. Really? And I was like, well, that's very so just scary. Jello in general. So you or just does make it have to be jello you're water? like making like making jello, but you don't you don't put it in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You drink the water. Something with the sugar water, huh? Mm-hmm. But it probably just flavored, so it tastes good for him. I yeah. remember eating jello. They kind of said I was the sick. like yeah. mucus. Yeah. 
attaches to the, I don't know, something. Oh. But I didn't want to try that because the only jello I had was cherry. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, if that comes back up, yeah. that's yeah. staining everything. I yep. have green. You yeah, me too. Go for that. <sighs> I got some blue. <laughs> yeah, well, he's fine now, like I said. But I was tempted to try everything because, you know, all these suggestions were right. coming in. And I was like, I mean, literally, I will try anything if right. it makes him feel better. Yeah. But that one I did not because I was scared. Make him sleep outside in a tent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give him some towels. There were some suggestions. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Oh, but really? Yeah, there were some odd ones. But I bet not giving him milk it. helps. Yes. Milk yeah. makes more mucus. Yes. They, I know they always say... When their kids are sick or like have a stomach bug, you eat the the brats foods, right? It's uh, broth, rice, apple, apple, applesauce, toast. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's why I kept doing the applesauce. But I think the sucking of the pouch was like, ooh, because re- then after his nap, I gave him more applesauce, but I put it in a bowl bowl and had him just eat it, and that was better. Hmm. So I'm wondering if the sucking plus like getting it down so fast was making it just. Come yeah. right yeah. back up. And probably hard to breathe. You know, when you have to suck on something yeah. and you don't have oh, an yeah. airway. Yes. You're, you know. <laughs> Do you guys remember when um, John went camping with his dad and like brother and all the boys? So Jack and Matthew went. I mean, yeah. And Jack woke up in the middle of the night oh, and yes. threw up everywhere, all over people. <laughs> like the worst possible place to throw yeah. up. Can you imagine waking up to someone puking on you? In a tent? In a tent. Oh, Ooh. no. It's like yeah. you have no other sleeping option. Like, no. This is so it. he tried to clean up. They tried to clean up the best he could. And John brought Jack home and then <laughs> and then stayed the night, but then went back up early in the morning, but got a text from his dad saying that the raccoon got into the eggs for breakfast. Oh, oh no. And they were like <laughs> egg shells <laughs> leading off to the <laughs> raw eggs. Anyway, oh. the poor Jack, he was like, he, oh. it was so sad. That is so sad. I, when it's kids gross. get sick, that's how my kids got over their binkies. At least when they got rock and pray as they did, doesn't suck a binky. Yeah. They will know they both threw up. Oh, that's right. With their binkies in their mouth. So it's like oh. every time they threw up, they're like, okay, that's, that's gross. That's done. That's mm-hmm. done. That's how Nick, for the binkies. Nick's was that he got too stuffy. That he couldn't like suck on the Upon binky, it. and so yeah, he got rid of his. Well, we did so not get rid of there's that. There's the cup half it's full, still, right there. Uh, well, no, because he's <laughs> definitely still wanting his still binky. wanting his binky. <laughs> yeah. Jack had it till he was like three and a half. I yeah, think. he was my longest. The other ones were only eighteen months. Yeah, Freya was three and a half. I think three, maybe three. We stopped like whole milk at two with all the rest of them too. He's still going, but I'm like, maybe this will give us that chance to stop it. Yeah, we stopped yeah. it at night. Which sometimes he still screams for milk at night. Milky. Oh. oh. But it's bad for his oh, my kids. Yep. that way. Yeah. My kids. Right. We all still drink milk in my house. Just at we night. We love milk. Right? Yeah. Because the, the they dentist. had a sippy yeah. and he has the like lip tie and he says it was getting like just stuck up here. Oh, and just yeah. Just sitting. We don't. Yeah. We actually don't do it before bed. Mm-hmm. We brush the teeth. We learned that with Freya because Freya was the one that had like eight cavities. Mm-hmm. At f- what, sad. four? I was like, whoa, what kind of terrible parent am I? And oh. they were like, did she have milk? I'm like, yeah, she totally was a milk baby. Like, she'd have the bottle with bed. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jack wasn't a milk baby, but he still had like a gazillion cavities and had to be put <laughs> out. It's for not your parenting six. because poor. <laughs> really? My, Noah, I mean, we've kept, I mean, they're all the same. Noah's had maybe one cavity. Emmy has had so much work done to her poor mouth. So many cavities. That's free. Yeah. Lucy's had nothing. I'm like, it's just, and I bet Van will be like Emmy because he's starting to, with Get that it. lip tie. Yeah. He said the stuff just gets stuck right on his. Mm. You know what though? So Freya had the tongue tie and we went into the dentist and she had to get all that work done and she had to be put out, you know, that's when they fixed her tongue tie. So if he ever has stuff, you could have oh. the dentist fix it when he's under. He said it's not like too bad. I don't know. He says it's bad enough, but not to where they need They're to worried. fix it. Yeah. Did they say okay. Tyler has it too? And they said sometimes it can like get smaller as they get older. I think that, yeah, I think he said that. Yeah. Start to stretch more or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So we'll see. Interesting. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I need a pedic. I saw you got your stuff today. I did. <laughs> wow. Cool. I Mine's not done. Oh, well, you should have asked Molly. <laughs> Here, let's show my toes. Just kidding. I was, oh, wow. How do you guys keep your feet up there? Ew. <laughs> Somebody's gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> some three <laughs> foot <laughs> fetish porn <laughs> there. Someone's going to check like, out the YouTube, YouTube for that. <laughs> Rewind, <laughs> Rewind to pause. Pause. 10 minutes, 20. <laughs> You're hey, that's good watch time on YouTube. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> watch it watch it as long as you want. <laughs> uh, my husband had a birthday. Ava yes. had a birthday. And Ava had a birthday. Yeah. Oh, so fun. What'd you get? The the journey for Mark's like our birthday as a couple. Mm. I used to be really like, I think we may have talked about this. I don't know. Celebratory. Like surprise like you wake up with like a cool card and gift and like all these things and a plan and he was the opposite like kind of like oh shit I wake up and hurry and run and grab something you know what I mean he's just really bad at planning so I have like toned way down because I started to be like I kind of feel bad that I make it such a big deal, then I feel like he feels bad for not making it such a big deal or I would be like irritated or bugged that he didn't make it as big of a, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I've toned way down on like celebrating my husband specifically. That sounds really bad. Even though I was way excited to celebrate him. You're but just I just to compromise somewhere. I am. I'm trying to like, let's yeah. just level it out because it's not that big of a deal. Like I just, I just want to hang out. That's all I really care about. Anyway, so we did, uh, the night before, he's like, so are we doing anything this week? Like, is anything going on? Or I'm like, like for your birthday tomorrow? <laughs> I'm like, honey, I remember it's your birthday. Don't worry. <laughs> like, I know it's your birthday. He's like, don't forget about me. He was laughing. So we just, it was simple. We went to um, Culver's, got a burger, got a couple burgers. Then we had to go to Frey's Gymnastics, and which was hard because it was like right in between. Otherwise, we, we would have went to like a fun sit down dinner. And then I took him golfing. That was like the surprise is because he loves to golf. So I'm like, you're, we're going to go hit a bucket of balls. You can putt, drive, whatever you want to do. And he was like in heaven. It was his favorite thing. And it was so nice. Like right now is the perfect time to get out and do that. Even in the evening. You know what I mean? Because the weather's perfect. It is nice. Oh my gosh. I like, I was just happy to be there. And I hit a few too, but I told him, I'm like, no, this is your birthday. Like, I just want you to hit away. And Freya fell in love with it like mark was so stoked he's like do you see this do you see her (laughs) then like he kept giving her tips he's like i'm gonna bring her with she's just gonna start coming with me like it was pretty cute that's awesome i know so it was fun we had a good birthday i love that i know yay what'd you guys do i knew we did a party for ava did you do anything else for day of um let's see well no well okay so saturday we had the big thing (laughs) sunday we had uh John's parents over, although her, his dad was not feeling well, so ha- still had like a really bad cough from a cold. So he decided to stay home because he was like, I feel like coughing all over everyone is not the greatest idea. Yeah. So he brought her because she doesn't drive anymore. And then John took her home later. And then did we his talk mom? about that last time on the podcast? Because it was that night. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. Oh, yeah, because you made dinner and stuff. No, yeah. I don't think we did. All right. Well, the next day was her actual birthday. So I decorated for... And she, on Sunday afternoon, we went and got stuff. She made little bags for her whole class. And she got suckers for her cheer team because she had cheer on Monday. That was it. Hey. Oh, John took her Chick-fil-A for lunch. Oh, cute. She really, she's like, Mom, my lunch is at 11. So, and I was like, hey, if I can. I was editing because oh we had recorded Sunday night. Yeah. And I was like, John, I don't think I can do this. And he's like, I got it. So Did he you went. pack her an empty lunch first? No. <laughs> <laughs> she watched me pack her lunch. So I was like, I don't want to give it away. Plus, like, if I couldn't make it and John hadn't have yes, said, then she yeah. wouldn't have had a lunch. So You're I'm like, happy Just in it. case. <laughs> right. And she just used it the next day. <laughs> yeah. So that's all we did. That's cute. I, well, you she had a lot a of celebrations. Party. She was really excited. She yes. got to open her presents. She got like a clay bead set. She got some cheer shorts and tank tops, a pair of jeans, lots of charms for bracelet making and stuff. That's so awesome. She's, she's really excited. She's set. Mm-hmm. She got weight. Her shoes. She was Gosh. like stoked for she's her converse. She's so excited. Those just She just, yeah. She is such like a, I don't know. I mean, she's turning she's into just, a, tr- yeah. Like a preteen. Yeah. yeah. What is that called? Preteen? Is it just right? tween? tween? Tween. There we yes. go. Yeah. Like, what is, there's another word somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Preteen, tween. Yeah. Tween. Same thing. It's cute. Yeah. I love it. I need to get back to celebrating big, big time though, now that I think about it. Do you? It's I do, so hard I do with like the kids it. though too. <laughs> and week. I know. It's hard. Like, yeah. I week know. Birthdays. It's true. But I used to like put a basket together and like all his favorite things and like fun little notes or, you know what I'm saying? Like all those mm. cool, thoughtful things. Do you know what? You should, oh, we can talk about it, but I was going to say, you should just do that randomly. 
I should, huh? Yeah. Do you know like what a little Matt did this thing. week? What? I do. Um, he took Noah to Noah decided to do a basketball league that we had no clue about until Sunday. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the person that told us about it was like, "Oh, tryouts are on Tuesday." We're like, oh, wonderful! And they were eight to nine thirty. Whoa! Oh, that's terrible. That's late for tryouts? That yes. Wow. So Matt took him, and before that, we were just talking, and he opened a Red Bull. This was like at six or something. And he's like, you want to share this? And I was like, yeah. And then he left and I saw it in the trash can. And I texted him. I was like, hmm, that Red Bull he split was really good. Except I didn't get a sip of it. He's like, <laughs> did you really not? I was like, no. When did he's like, I swear you did. I was like, I did not even get <laughs> one s- taste. One little <laughs> sip of it. So he brought me home a drink and a little thing of new orchids because he bought me orchids on Mother's Day. And I had told somebody that they're the longest thing I've kept alive. Yeah. Which is crazy because I can't can't either. They all like fell off and died. Won't they come back though? So he brought you dead orchids. No. (laughs) (laughs) No, he bought me new ones. And just brought them. That's nice. That is so thoughtful. I know. Those are the little things that just go a long freaking way. Yes. That's cute. Yeah. I did bring him his headphones because he left them at work. He didn't ask me to. Oh, that's that was just nice the small things. I know. It's good. Because what are you looking at? Sorry, there was a t- what? A what? A text? A text from mine? Ava. Yeah. Oh, Jack keeps she? walking around the living room. Well, it's not coming through <laughs> on my watch, so. I, I can like, hear. She's at? like, I'm not the one I know. making those noises. <laughs> He's can, the one. I can hear ba, 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 ba. I know. <laughs> But yeah, he that's texts so me. Nice. He's like, my headphones, I left them. It's the worst day ever. And I was uh-huh. like, I'll bring him to you. I didn't you. tell him, but I just called him. I was like, I'm in the parking lot. Yeah. Like, here I am. He's like, why? I was like, I have your headphones and so a drink. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that rem- I guess I did do that surprise. You did. Coffee run for yeah. Mark, which he was stoked. I meant to do it day of his birthday, but day of both my kids had school. And it's just like, you know, those mornings where you're dropping off and picking up four times. And I'm walking pretty much right now because they want to walk. And the weather's nice. So it's just like. I feel like that day is gone. Like I can't do it. So anyways, I did it the next morning and he was super excited. It, we were reminiscing on, remember how we used to have coffee breaks every day and spend $15 a day on Starbucks? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I was impressed you went to Starbucks and Beans and Brews. I did. Yeah. Like, I, I would well, have Starbucks, been like one or the other, buddy. I know. Well, I didn't even ask him. I just showed up with what I know he likes. Because his favorite, we both love the white chocolate mocha. Really at both places, but preferably Beans and Brews. And then Starbucks always has the really good, like, seasonal specialties, I feel like. So I wanted to get one of those. He took both. And then he was like, those were so good. And halfway through the day, he's like, I'm currently on the shitter. (laughs) That (laughs) coffee hit me hard. (laughs) That pumpkin chai flushed you out. Delicious. It's so good. It's so good. (laughs) I actually let Ava taste it. I went through the, I think it was on Sunday when we were running all these errands for her class and dinner and stuff like that and I drove through Starbucks and I was texting my cousin Kate because she's always bringing me stuff and then she was like there are times I go through and I can't decide what I want so sometimes I get two <laughs> and I, so then I text her yeah I'm like, what should I get she's like have you had the pumpkin cream chai, chai or chai. something and I was like no she's chai like chai latte yeah. yeah she said do that and I was like all right so I got that and I let Ava try and she's like mom so every like every day she's like can we go back can I get that I'm like no <laughs> I don't go very often <laughs> and I wanted to try oh. that chai and I don't know the the damn sizing so they like handed it to it's me and it was venti, like gra- venti. a tall grande venti. I wanted a venti. huge one. And it was like this tiny one. I was like, oh. a, tall, a tall you would think is tall, right? Yes. Right. No. But that's the teeny one. That's the small one. <laughs> yeah. You need I the got venti. It, I was like, oh, that's sad. Because like it has the foam too. <laughs> yes. So yeah. there's like this much foam and, and then, then the that, rest. So right. Like, it's like a I shot. Was, I wanted the large one. <laughs> is venti, <laughs> venti um, 20? Venti. Yeah. So what, but grande and tall are not numbers. No, they are. Isn't it 16? But Venti in Italian, Italian, I think, is 20. Is it? But Grande, I don't, is it? Oh, no, weird. you're right. Anyway, I don't know why their sizes are named what they are. Yeah, they're terrible. I'll do that for research. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Go yeah. and look into that, write will that, you? Write that down. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm going to go get one of those. <laughs> oh, Kira made Yo, some I homemade pumpkin yeah, foam. And she brought some to me yesterday, and I was like, my, my, that's my sister-in-law, by the way. She was on one of our podcasts. Kira, you forgot to bring um, me some. <laughs> and me, too. It was and so me. good. And then she messaged me. She's like, I tried another recipe that's even better, and she sent it to me. Oh. So I, I'll share it. But oh. it was so good. 
I was really sad when it was gone. I was like, oh, I want another one. Yeah. You can probably yeah. just buy the chai. I think Starbucks sells just their chai, I right? So. Probably. And you could do that stuff and you'd probably have one. When I made probably. it, I can make it as large as I want. Yep. When I made it, we would just go grab stuff off the shelves. Chai? Uh huh. At yeah. Starbucks? No, it's the Tazo little box, the Tazo boxes of Costco chai. Costco has it too. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Oregon uh-huh. chai one. It was a long time ago, though. They may have changed some things. Oh, well, yeah. Mark and I are having fun with making our own coffees. So I'm going to make. Like my own. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Because that was so delicious. Kim and I went to a vision boarding thing. Oh, we, yeah. We're all yes. supposed to. We're, well, not supposed to, but we're all invited yeah. to go. And that was fun. It was fun. Yeah. We had some, like, snacks and chatted for a while. And then we Did you do a vision, vision board? board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's in my room. Mm-hmm. Did you finish yours? No. Mm-hmm. I need to put it together. I've been busy. This has been a really busy week. I feel like I'm yeah. barely alive. Yeah. We should p- do a night and finish it all together. Yeah. I was telling Emily, because it's a three-week... A three-month. Oh, is it three-month? Mm-hmm. Well, because we meet once a month. Mm-hmm. We meet every Tuesday. Oh, sh- well, that's what For I meant. For second yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But anyways, um, I told her I want to go, because mm-hmm. I love vision boarding. You know, I talked to her this morning, but um, I want to do mine. We yeah. should just sit down and finish and There's like it. a bunch of questions they posted on the, the page that you were like supposed to think about before we got together that night. We, we went over them. them. We went over them that night, too. I tried to, like, really <laughs> think through things. I don't know. Ashley took it real serious. I was trying. <laughs> That's Ashley. I was Ashley. really trying. I could see it. I was sure. like, I would love for this to be really beneficial for me. <laughs> it, it, yeah. I can't get into it. I'm doing it for you. Yeah. I'm going to make you. Know, you. It's like scrapbooking. No. Don't do that. No. It's just glue and You just do one on no. for the Paper. whole year. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's true. It's kind of like one big scrapbook. <laughs> Scrap board. It's your assignment. You're going to make a collage. <laughs> I am not. You're not a visionary? I'm, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a dreamer? I've, I haven't been not a ever goal one. Nope. Like <laughs> New Year's resolu- resolutions? I'm like, Resolution. nope. I'm not Resolution. doing that. <laughs> yeah. I tried. I always failed. Yeah. I don't always hit my goals, but some I do. And I do feel like it kind of helps me like view my journey. Yes. I'm sure year, it'd be great for me. Which but is cool. Sh- well, and I think with this one too, it's going to be fun because like next month we're, we're taking our vision boards, not to like work on them, but then to, to be reminded of what we have on there to talk about how we can actually pursue them, I guess, or like the, like yeah. to make the things that we want actually happen yeah. and support each other to make yes. those things happen. Well, you're sure. reward driven like me. We talked about this. So, so that's how go, I look at my vision board. I'll buy you a drink. Okay? <laughs> I look at like, I look at like my vision board as, okay, my reward on my journey to this, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I... No, she's probably mine. not coming. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get other influencers there and then she'll come. No. That's the trick. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Hey, Molly. So-and-so is going to be there and so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. You can do I TikTok. Think, I don't think she's driven there. by that either. Also that. Yeah, she is. That. 100% peer pressure. 100%. Mm-mm. I'd put down money. Kim, do you have any other updates? <sighs> no, I had a cold. Oh. <laughs> you just didn't feel good. I'm sorry, oh, but that was it. like, <laughs> sorry. like Eeyore. I know. No. I know. Any updates? I had a cold. <laughs> <laughs> like fun of my voice, Molly. Oh, no. I did have an Eeyore. It, was, it wasn't the voice. It was just like the, <laughs> I, had I had a cold. I did take lots of naps, which I'm oh. not a napper, so. I'm just tired. When I'm napping. Well, that means you know you're down. Yeah. Yeah. You know your body needs it. I but took it, a. I took a went back to bed nap this morning. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> went back to bed nap. <laughs> That's what we're calling it. I did okay. talk to one of my coworkers who I don't see ever and had same co- type of colds. So it's clearly going around. Yeah, there's all kinds yeah. of stuff going around. I was going to say. Same stuff. Is that about. what you guys have too? Your family? Uh, yeah, do you think you have a cold? We don't. Oh, well, I had something for a yeah. couple of days. It was after the podcast because I thought we had, oh. I had allergies. Then you came oh. to the next day. It was like. More than that. Mm-hmm. And I got a sore throat. And then, but like, it's weird how people you don't see get the same colds. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And then nobody else has gotten anything from us except Van. Right. I don't know. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Probably know. I'll get it next week. Right. right. Probably right before family pictures. Oh, They'll cool. all. They'll all be <laughs> like red-eyed and, and, and yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> be awesome. Snotty, Snotty <laughs> nose is runny. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we have three <laughs> soccer games and a monster truck show tomorrow. That's oh, not busy at all. Aren't you going to the monster trucks too? Mm-mm. You're not? I thought you were. 
I told Van I totally today, and he that. was so excited, and then he asked for zombie, and I said zombie wasn't going to be there. <gasps> Bald. Oh, no. He was so pissed. I was like, is that his favorite? Oh, is he even going to enjoy this? Because he's, he's already, you know, team Monster Jam, and this is Hot Wheels. Oh. <laughs> so they're different trucks yeah. than oh, the ones no. he plays with. He might be upset. I know. Quit, he was. Get, he was get him some pissed. Hot Wheels tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. We'll get him some Hot Wheels ones so he can get excited about those guys. Oh, I'm like, we'll spend another $40 the yeah. whole time because <laughs> zombie yeah. or grave diggers. Yeah. It's not there. It's not there. I would be. Does I'd they be know like, that's not. Grave Digger? He's just wearing a different outfit. Gosh. Well, there is a. I well, so I tried to show him videos today because he was so mad about zombies. So I was like, okay, we're gonna show him what because they have. It's cool. They like glow. Yeah, have, like LED Ooh. lights. There's one that Ooh. looks like a shark, and he's like Megalodon, and I was like, yep, yeah. yes, <laughs> yeah. a different paint job on mm-hmm. Megalodon. Yeah. Megalodon. Yeah. They're an updated Megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, once he's there, he'll just be so like I yeah. wowed so. by I it all. I think so. I think so too. I think That's funny fun. though when they're into it. She's That's very cute. into it. <laughs> that little video of him, like, oh, mm-hmm. what's his name? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. His name? yeah. That was really cute. Um, That's a fun age because they just—it's hard too because you can't. They don't understand. They just want what they want. Yes. There's no reasoning. There's no reasoning, yeah. right? But they're adorable. Yeah. Their reactions and stuff. Um, so my cousin got married yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of fun. I was a bridesmaid, <laughs> which was really yes, stressful. There was another Kim moment. That was Dark really fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That we're going to all on to the tone. No, this is, you know, we're my podcasting. My cousin got married. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> you know we're it was really fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> you know, we're podcasting. When you know, it's podcasting. Not. Yeah, that's podcasting. Okay. With a little bit more emotion. My well, cousin got married no yesterday. Way. Yeah, she did. It was, was so fun. fun. So <laughs> fun. So there we fun. go. Now, Kim, I had a cold this week. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> anyway, I was a bridesmaid and yes. I I did have fun doing that. Which I I was a, a maid of honor for my sister's wedding forever ago. Yeah. And then this, and that's it. But it was fun. It, it really like was a, fun. <laughs> it sounded <laughs> like a beautiful wedding. How much more convincing like do you need? A lot of fun. <laughs> the only thing that I'm very sad about is that I got zero pictures on my phone. Oh, shoot. Why? Because, Ooh. like, I, kept, I didn't have pockets or, oh. like, anything, and you're walking around, and then you're holding flowers, and then you do that yeah. whole thing, and then pictures, and <clears throat> but I would have loved to have had my phone. And they told John, I told John, I said, get some pictures if you can. He's like, they told us, like, don't because then it's annoying if you're uh-huh. you know the yeah, photographers are trying to get stuff and then you have people holding their phones up and so he was not allowed to which is oh, great oh i see right. i was it's, about it was to be beautiful. like hey you're gonna show me your dress but then i remember the van puked all yep. over and i ran home so sure did like yes i saw a glimpse yeah. of it as she came out me and my brother were sitting outside oh, it's kind of blue yeah it everyone looks told pretty. me they're like really pretty well so the dress that okay so my cousin said do you want to pick a dress? We're kind of going with this kind of color. I said, how about you pick some dresses and then I'll pick from those. So I did. But then when it came in the mail, it was much darker than everyone else's. So she said, well, we have these other ones that didn't work for other people. Do you want to try these on? And I did. And then we went with like this wrap. It was kind of long in the back, but then came up on the front. Anyway, it worked out really great. People said that dress looks so good. Like, yeah. I'm glad that you could use it. All that stuff. It's dry clean only, which. Oh, that's so hard. And I, I smell, I was I, stinky. You were? Bad. Yeah, I don't get stinky very often. Well, lately, I feel like, mo- I don't know. Maybe hormones, hormones, baby. Those crazy. hormones will get you. <laughs> um, anyway, but it was fun. The, the vows that you said the oh my gosh. her husband did. Yes. Oh, my word. So she has a daughter <clears throat> that's five years old, and her past relationship was not great. And he, um, her new, her now husband, had vows for Addie. Oh, oh, that's, that's her daughter. daughter. And then for my cousin. And then he that's had a ring cute. for Addie as well. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. So we're all like bawling. You know, he's like, I know I missed your first step. I know I missed, you know, other things, but I promise from here now I'll never oh, miss a first. Cute. Like, you know, I'm going to show you like, so that, you know, what real love and how you should be treated. And we were all like, oh, that's so cute. sweet. It was really cute. So I'm like, this is like, it's what they deserve. So yes. It's really, it's really cool. That is, especially when they come from a hard, mm-hmm. I know she went through Last, a lot yeah. and you've been there for her through a lot yeah. of that too. And then seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, yes. you know, yeah, 
It's I really know. special. I gave my aunt a big hug at the end. And she's like, it just like was so magical. Like it really was. Oh, it was so sweet. I love yeah. see weddings. Ugh, I just I know. I could relive my wedding day with Mark over and over. Yeah, I could relive parts of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the line for hours was not. Oh yeah, we did not do lines. Best. I was like, hell so, to the no. So my cousin, they stood just <laughs> them two stood for a while, and they had people coming, and it was like and I was talking to. Um, my other cousin's wife. And she was like, if they didn't, they'd probably just be followed all night. Cause like, yeah, like they're dancing and people are following you and it kind of becomes chaos. It's rather that, like just stand there for an hour and then, then they danced and yeah. stuff and it was fine. But, you know. Yeah. I mean, Mark and I did, um, I remember it was like after we cut the cake, mm-hmm. I think is when we kind of like, we didn't line at all. Cause just I just with did not, we just mingled, yeah. you know? And then we got the dance started and we were like, come yeah. on to the dance floor and a lot of people that came were like amazing and just joined in yeah. on the fun. Yep. But my parents were great for that reason too. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, if people didn't want to dance and we were on the dance floor, we'd always be like, hi, we blow kisses. We did yes. not leave that dance floor. They're no. like, that was my favorite part. Of the yeah. Night. I was, was like, fun. thank you. Love you. Come on. And if they didn't come over, my parents just jumped in and like Cute. helped greet and stuff, you know, yeah. but those lines, I just remember I all the weddings I've been to with the lines and it makes sense. It is a sweet way to be able to make sure you see everybody, but it's just, you're just like, are we up to the front yet? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah, like, we're not we doing that. I know. We totally did. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite part. Yeah. But that, which is okay. It's yeah. still sweet. Um, it's really my sweet. kids were really excited to get in fancy clothes because we don't go to church. And so they were yeah. like, you could tell Matthew was feeling real like dapper. Uh-huh. And <laughs> was like in his button, you know, whatever. He felt real good. It was really cute. And then Jack, <laughs> I found, um, I found suits that we had for my brother's. Like, so there was one his size and I guess, so he gets in it and John sent me a picture. He goes, he said, he's ready for business or oh, something geez. like, and he just was like, and then I guess he was really sad last night when they got home, he wanted to go out and show all of his friends. Yeah. He was dressed in a suit, but it was like time for stuff. And he was like devastated. And then now on free dress day at school, he wants to go in his suit. His suit. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, was awesome. He was like, and then on the way home, Jay goes, I know what I'm wearing when I get home. And I was like, well, those are for nicer occasions. We can't just wear that all the time. No, those are expensive. We got to be out nice. nice. Jumping on the trampoline yeah. in his suit. suit. Just that would be Jack. Bullets. Do you know, I remember he went through a phase where he always had a tie on. No matter what he was wearing, he would always put a tie over really? his neck. Yeah. And he just, it was like part of his outfit. <laughs> Noah went through a, um, loved it. Double flannel Ooh, phase. Like double hot. collared shirt. Oh. Unbuttoned. Sometimes with a tie. Mm-hmm. He was like four or five. He would go to preschool often like that. Yeah, I like it. sweaty. Sweet, dude. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> he remembers it too. Uh, also. Yes. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's this looking morning, at you. It was a struggle because he wanted to wear his van shirt that you got him. Yeah. He really wanted to wear it, but he thinks it's a bit too big. I know. I was and worried I was about like, that. He wanted to cut it. I was like, no, <gasps> let's oh, not do that. Don't do that. And then he tried to tuck it in, but the back looked funny. And then I was like, dude, you'll be able to wear it. He's like, not for like three years. And I feel bad. And Tara, <laughs> she spent all this money on me and she's going to oh, never see me wear it. And oh. I was like, she will. Just oh. not right now. Like you'll, it was not, I'm not even going to wear it in elementary school. Oh my gosh. He's going to be a slow He's grower, so huh? sweet. <laughs> yeah, oh. so he felt bad that, <coughs> so if you don't see you, you buy it, that sure. You got him an extra small, right? It's a small. I think that was the smallest they had. Yeah. They might, I know they have extra smalls though. There just wasn't one in that size. I remember because I looked on the hook. I'm like, I need the smallest one up there. And that was it. It really isn't like that. Did you wash it yet? I try to wash and dry it. Maybe we will. Okay. Dang it. He's just so, he's particular right now with his clothes. And I was like, it looks fine. And he's like, no, it's way too big. Wants to fit it as. It is bigger than the ones he usually wears. Yes. That is true. And Matt, Matt kept telling him, I was like, oversized shirt is like a thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You'll yeah. be fine. He's like, no. Throw on your Gen X shorts and you'll right. wear it. That Seriously. felt all bad because oh. Tara spent all that money. Gosh, Tara. He doesn't need to feel bad. I know. I told That's him cute. multiple times. It was cute. But it was like, Make sure I ask him every day I see him. So you're not wearing that shirt yet, <laughs> so, huh? so why are you <laughs> not wearing yeah. that shirt? Not wearing he my asked shirt, me multiple huh? times. He's like, can we just cut the bottom? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh Crop. We'll be he able to, to wear it. Pop it. That's a Freya move. You've seen all her cut off pants and sweats. Uh, the, guys, she's done it like f- to five pairs. <laughs> Does she tell you? Uh, the last few she has not. And I had a nice chat with her. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, 
are you kidding me? Like, yes, it is your clothes. You are right. So mom, it's mine. You're right. But are you going to buy yourself pants when you need pants? Anyways, she likes to cut her stuff. And then she, it's so hard. It's that mom thing where like she wants to wear her cut off legging sh- pants out. <laughs> And it literally looks jagged <laughs> and she pants. looks homeless. And you're like, <laughs> you wanted to support your child and say, if that's what you feel good in. But inside I'm like, I'm going to be looked at. I don't like, I don't care about my kid. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Because it looks, it doesn't look good. I want to see it. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh, I'm shocked you haven't. Okay. Well, not Maybe it's week. just not that bad. As bad as you're thinking it oh, is. We haven't noticed. It's, it's pretty apparent. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty apparent. <laughs> Nick's going through his... Mono colored oh, outfits because it matches mm-hmm. red shorts, red shirt, <laughs> right? Blue shorts, blue shirt, right? But they're black, slightly black, gray, gray. <laughs> Matthew still does that, so uh, that is in right now. We're no, in the I same. Mean, stop. I don't know. I don't think <laughs> no, so. it has I to be completely matching, though. Oh, same, yeah, you know oh, what I'm saying? Fine, the same sure, color, okay. yeah, like a, like a I know. matching set. I'm being that, sarcastic, yeah. bitches. Oh. Come on, <laughs> can you not follow on this? <laughs> I wasn't, <laughs> and he's so proud that he picked it. I got dressed, mom, like. Oh, good job. I know. I know. Good job. Good so job. hard. Yay. And what do you do? Do you let him wear it? Yeah. Yeah? He's looked pretty stylish so far. Because he lately is very particular on what he wears. Yeah. And he throws a fit. He won't wear certain shorts, won't wear sh- certain shirts. So he wears like three shirts out of his whole closet. Oh, fun. <laughs> That's a good time. <laughs> I know. Lots of laundry. It, Rock's been wanting to wear... Like sweats and a long sleeve t shirt. Yeah, or every time I t-shirt. see him, I'm like, a long are you sweating? Shirt. I know. I'm like, he looks dude, so it's hot. It feels a little cooler this morning, but it's it's going to get warm. I it's keep not... doing that. I had a long sleeve on today. Did are you, you? sweating to death? Earlier? I was dying. I like started <laughs> feeling sick. I was outside with with Van, and he kept throwing golf balls at me, and I was chasing uh, after him, and I was like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> are you sure you didn't get knocked in the head with a golf ball? <laughs> yeah, I no didn't, kidding. but. You're all dehydrated. I, know. <laughs> I keep just hoping because I love fall clothes. Me too. You're getting ready for a, a wrestling match. You know how wrestlers always like put a bunch of sweats on oh, and then sweat, yeah. it out? Just sweat it out. Oh, that's true. That yeah. Molly. Go down in yeah. the weight class. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I splurged at Lululemon. Yeah. Ooh. But you looked real cute. Okay, no, I this was another splurge. Another oh. splurge. I bought Since yesterday. At the same, no, at the same time. I bought okay. a lot at the same time. I bought those aligned leggings and that top, which mm-hmm. keeping. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I really like that. But then cute. I That's bought cute. this like r- really cute sweatsuit. It's in there like ultra soft. It was so nice. It was like this pretty purple. It was the purple of the top. That uh, mm-hmm. it's workout top. I the really aligned? liked it. A line, like an aligned tank? No, no, like oh, sweat. sorry. That one shoulder one. The one you just wore. Yes. Okay, gotcha. So it was that color. It was like sweatsuits and they were wide legged and like oh. super soft. And it looked really cute on my butt. And what? So I bought it. It was a lot. They were like a hundred dollars per piece. A Lulu doesn't play. No, like they maybe a hundred and thirty per piece. Oh yeah. So then I started like overthinking. Of course, when I got home, I was like, "Holy hell, that was a lot!" Like I know I'll wear the the leggings and the top. Like yes, and it's working out. So yeah, I'll use that a lot. I was like, "This is a sweatsuit." Then I got online, and all of the reviews said how bad it stained. Like oh. even like a drop of water just because of that super soft material. Oh. oh. So I took it back today. That was probably a good call. I probably know. felt good to get a little back. Well, then I bought Matt some joggers. Oh, there you go. And another top for me. So really, I <laughs> no. He told me about his clothes that were too small. Oh, no. I know. He's, he has a... P- I keep buying him stuff too because he doesn't buy himself stuff. Yep, that's Mark. And he's been wanting some new jogger. no. He said maybe that he would want some new joggers. So I've been trying to find him <laughs> some new ones that he liked. We've returned like four. Mm-hmm. And then I bought him these shirts from Cuts. It's like a new, because he likes Built. He said it's a brand. He said they're not built for humans. No. <laughs> I got him an XXL, which is his normal size. Yeah. And they are tiny. What? From Lulu? No, no for Cuts. cuts. Mm-hmm. What's Cuts? Yeah. It's another brand. It's like Built. Oh, okay. But um, then I went to return. So I bought him joggers and two shirts. I meant to return it all, and the shirts were like final sales seasonal colors. Oh, shoot. No. So that's fun. Are they too small? I think so. He tried on one. He was all like self-conscious in it. So. Uh, oh, great. 
I was so gonna say maybe the Mark other. wears an XXL, but he doesn't like it too tight around yeah. the uh, midsection. <laughs> so yeah, a solid I've been medium. Doing really good. That's why I got him joggers because I'm like I know he likes the Lulu, yeah. the ABC joggers. So finally, I was like, I'm just gonna that's, get those for you. We're gonna call it good. Yep. That's Mark and my brother. My brother got um, Mark on Lulu. Like my brother Jake is all about Lulu. The ABC joggers are the bomb. Yes. Finally got Mark a couple pairs. He's like, these are the best ever. And he likes a lot of their shirts. Yes. But it's, jeez. They're annoying. So I know. It's so annoying. They are good. I will give Lulu a lot of credit, though. They will return their stuff. If, like, like stitching comes undone or any, like, no question. I took a pair of joggers of Mark's back, like, a year later. They exchanged them, no problem. Oh, that's nice. So they're kind of like Costco in that way, which is nice. The girl is really cute. She's like, why are you returning them? I was like, well, the... The uh, reviews say it's safe. She's like, yeah, like sometimes it does, but I feel like I've been able to get all my stuff out. I was like, I have four kids. She's like, mm, yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> As she was younger. I was like, yeah, I just don't want to risk it. She's like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take those back. <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, everything's going to get on this outfit. Yes. All of it. <laughs> yeah. For like two fifty, you don't want to chance it. No. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it's so true. I remember when I went and tr- did a whole like try on haul at Lulu. And I was like, if I buy all of this, it's $600. I mean, that's like five uh, items, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was, it was six items. I remember cause it was three different fits. <gasps> I did. I, fi- I found an align, um, those tanks, those crop ones. Uh huh. I have a couple of them, but they're the booby ones. But yep. this one was a high neck one Ooh. and it was on their like sale rack for like $39 Ooh. instead of 68. There you go. Hey, Sold. You. half off. Isn't that crazy? So just don't go in that store. Yeah. The margin the on Lulu is huge. Yeah. Cause if they can cut it in half <laughs> and still make money, <laughs> but they got good stuff. Like, uh, let's be real. They do have good stuff. Uh, Oh, I, I had to do an update on uh, Frey's coaches, gymnastics. Oh, yes. They were fantastic this week, just so you know. Fantastic. They probably coaches? heard the podcast. No, her actual, <laughs> what? They probably heard the podcast. Yeah, I know. They're like, bitch. No, together. no, no. Yeah. Last week it was subs. It wasn't her actual coaches. Oh, this week yeah. was her actual coaches, and they were fantastic. Both of them. Good. Because she goes twice a week. So we were like, yes. It has been pull, like pulling teeth, though. To get her there later, because she's always. I think I with heard friends. her crying one day. Loser shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was like Freya. I don't want to do gymnastics. I'm pretty sure that's why Emmy's saying no to it anymore. Because she doesn't want to go. Yep. Like because she doesn't want to go. That's why Jack doesn't Because she Ronnie. hated it when we did it because of that. Yeah. But when she got there, she always had fun. Yeah. But it was getting the her thing. there that yep. she hated. But she doesn't do that with soccer yet. I don't know if it's because soccer has like a break. Like it only goes for so long where gymnastic was uh, forever. Yeah. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Seriously. I yeah. know. Well, we just signed her up for t- two days a week because yeah. she was like, mom, I, she's been asking. So I was like, let's do it. And then we do it. I don't want to. I'm like, I know why you're getting upset. So I had a chat with her. I was like, you're going till December because that's when your recital is. And if you still don't want to yeah. do it, fine. But I was like, if we're going to throw a fit every time when I'm pulling you in from friends, then we're going to just start hanging out in the house until yeah. it's time to go. Not like, I don't before. want to do that. I don't want to do that to you. But honey, this is a lot. <laughs> we have like, that same conversation for just coming in at night. Yeah. We're like, Every if night. you guys can't come in, you can't go play. I know. Yes. I used to tell my kids that too. It doesn't work, <sighs> clearly. Because no. we always do that. Every time they stay up late, they freak out when we go home. And I'm like, oh, well, then we're not going to stay out late. Right. And right. then the next weekend, we're <laughs> staying out late. I, know. I don't know. I brought him in at seven the other night. There you Did go. it make a difference? No. <laughs> <laughs> Longer torture time inside. Yeah. Oh, parenting, man. Yeah, I seriously. heard there was there was some some type of cool advice with how kids, how as a parent, you never feel like you do enough. Like, oh, we just went and had this awesome time at this cool play place, and then the minute you leave, mom, I'm so bored. Oh my gosh, mom, I hate this. Are we going to do anything fun today? You know what I mean? And you're like, are you flipping kidding me? I just spent two hours of hell (laughs) having fun with you at the play place. Anyways, there was some great advice and I can't remember what it is. That was a really good lead up. There you go. There's there's the punchline. 
<laughs> I can't remember. I love that. I'm going to find it. Um, I was going to tell you my, I was telling Matt today, I had a troll that had a mean comment and I commented back and I was like, I should probably watch what I say when I comment back. And he's like, what did you say this time? <laughs> There's some lady that commented was like, if I had a husband that looked as good as yours, I would try a little bit harder to look better. So he would be attracted to me. Ew. And my reply was. Oh, it. he's very much attracted to me. He showed me last night. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Molly. <laughs> I think that's amazing. It's it like, is. My coworkers are on your social media. I was like, they won't, <laughs> they won't find it. <laughs> and even if they did, so what? So you yeah, guys have so a healthy what? sex life? Yeah, I was like, say, you're married and you have sex? Yeah, okay. that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like, think that's hilarious. Right? I thought it was really good. It's I like thought it was going to be like. Right away. And yeah, I just right. type it and send it, and I'm like, mm, maybe that's a little spicy. <laughs> I like it. I think it's great. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, oh, if you had a husband, if was she, was she talking about herself? Like, maybe I'd try harder if I had a husband that looked like that, or was it really directed? It at was you? directed at me, oh, bitch. She yeah. said she wanted to make it on Trolls of the Week with oh, that did comment. She? Yeah, she really she did? did. Yeah, you're like, great. That's why go. I was extra spicy with her. Yeah, good. Ish. You should probably put that in your chosen of the week, too. And it's the truth. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> speaking of which. You're, oh, you're revenge and Oh, okay. We oh. should talk about that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I did some research. Okay. Mm -hmm. We had a list of things to research last week, and one of it was <laughs> vagina rejuvenation. Because we were all unsure exactly what that meant. But yes. there are multiple things that fall under that category. Yes. So, and there are different reasons why you would have this done. Okay. One that surprised Tara and I was, um, you could get incontinence. Yes. Like, like if you, you have need... that from having kids, then they can like do some repairs yeah. down there to help you. They can repair. Um, but wouldn't that just be on your, your, uh, bladder bladder? No, it'd oh, be like, it's like your own. pelvic floor and yeah. stuff. Oh, I, okay. I remember oh, yeah. a company Hello. did ask me to do it and they were saying, do you ever leak? And I was like, surprisingly, no, no not yet. Me neither. I mean, that might eventually yeah, happen. I know. But, yeah. Right? It's a terrible design, really. Your yeah, all that. Floor. Totally. Yeah. All the oh, just get pressure out. and uh, things pressure. down there. Yeah. So they can repair all kinds of things. You know, if you have like extra Can they repair tissue? labia? Yes. Can they repair... Inner canal? vaginal? Mm-hmm. Oh. Did any of it have to do with collagen? Did they make that up? Remember I, I did said not read anything about collagen. Okay. I made How do up. they tighten up the canal? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do they, I have no idea. I did not read like details... Well, we we were we were just doing this right before we started, and we were yeah. trying to get down here. Oh. So what you're so saying you is you need to do more research. <laughs> okay, well, next week we will we'll circle back on that. Yes, we'll, we'll circle, circle back. back next week. Next okay. week Thank you'll you. get uh, you'll get. Extra. So the second I want thing to was know all the details. <laughs> the men's underwear, the socks uh, for nuts. Yeah. remember? Yeah. Do you remember the brand? Sex. That's what it's called. Yeah, I don't. Oh, remember. Well, there you go. I think you, so. Like the I banana hammock underwear? Is that you're no. talking about? The, the ones, ones that hold that the, have the little like oh. separate compartment. Oh. So they really so they are called chase. sacks? I think so. Okay. S A C S? Uh, I don't mm. know. I don't remember why I wrote it down, like what kind of research I was supposed to do on it. I think we all had a question, but we didn't know. I think it was on the balls. <laughs> We were talking about how low balls hang when they get old. And we were talking about animal the underwear. What animal underwear your husband's uh, wear? John didn't tell me. Well, you're you're Sax. deciding. S A X. He's not here. All right, uh, S A X X. Sax. Okay. Life changing underwear. men's underwear featuring the ballpark pouch. Oh, the ballpark, ballpark. pouch. Oh, wow. That I makes like sense. That. You want to buy Balls those? Right in there. Yeah. Honestly, I just found Mark some. Mark would for probably like them. Let me see. So, There's a hot dog. What? <laughs> it's a different brand. You can also buy them from Shinesty. Shinesty. Yes. Shinesty. Okay. Hey. That's there you go. funny. And then I, what? Golf, oh, golf. balls? Oh. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Where's the ball pouches, though? It's are they on where there? Where the balls are. Yeah, where the balls go. Yeah. But I don't see you know? anything different. It doesn't you look know? different. Well, it does are they, not like, on inside? The it's on the outside. Yeah. I've seen them in at Buckle. Oh, really? Right. Mm -hmm. When you were getting clothes, I was checking them out. Yeah. But they, they have like a separate little pouch. Oh. Like down underneath. It's like a oh. little oh. sling. A little sling for the balls. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So anyway, next. A little extra support. Yeah. The other thing I was supposed to research was the fry sauce from Stack 7571. Oh, what it's made of. And I could not find, every time I tried to search, it just gave me regular fry sauce. Yeah, yeah they probably won't cam. give it out. No, no way no. I would have meant. So, no. We'll, we'll try to figure that out. Maybe we should try to replicate yeah. it and then we can come with our own. Let's play with it. Yeah. Anyway, that was my research from last time. Good. 
Good job. Yeah, well, good research. Circle back. Very great. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so this episode is creating connection with your partner. So we're going to talk about like why it's important and then how we can strive to have those good connections. Okay. So um, it's crucial in a relationship um, mm-hmm. to feel connected with your, your partner is like when you feel like you can um, share anything with them and vice versa, that they can share anything with you. Yes. Um, it adds a sense of an in intimacy true and um it also nurtures feelings of happiness and contentment and overall satisfaction these things surprise me you can feel less stressed when you know that things are well i mean that actually makes really good sense but yes the other thing is it can make you kinder <laughs> like just a kinder person i think when you feel like confident and connected I I see that. yeah for sure <laughs> and then of course then it creates that deep bond and then it helps you through those highs and lows that you might have mm-hmm. in your relationship. Um, and then John's going to hate me because I'm kind of reading. But this just says, connection needs maintenance. It requires effort and should not be taken for granted. Maintaining that connection with your spouse isn't all that difficult. It means asking questions, listening, paying attention to the small things, and generally taking an active role in being present. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So and then we're going to talk about different ways to connect because there's lots. There's lots True. of like, True. You know, yes. And it can just be little tiny things. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I was actually going to bring down because one of the things that I, I bought, it's called like, it's like a little cardboard box and there's a bunch of cards in it and there's different categories and just like to um, like help deep discussions and yeah. stuff so you like pull it out and you would ask each other the question like there are sexual things there's like p- stuff from your past or childhood or i don't know it's really fun yeah. helps like start the conversation yeah i think those can be actually a really good idea because sometimes you know as you're together years and years and years mm-hmm. and then you get in the parenting phase and raising kid yes. phase and then you go out to dinner and you're like <laughs> Yes. What do we How talk the about? Kids? Exactly. Yeah. So, so kids soccer games. Yeah. That yeah. was fun. That was a good time. <laughs> soccer practice. How about, cool. How about the weather today? It's pretty nice outside. Seriously. You know what I mean? Even though like. Because oh, you know everything. Like yeah. when yes. you're first yeah. dating, you get all those questions and yeah. you just want to know everything. I mean, you've been with them. I mean, me and Matt, almost 13 years. Yeah. 21. Almost, yeah. <laughs> I know. Jeez. It's a long time. Yeah. Like that's a long time. You know or 11. pretty much yeah. everything about them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. 21 Holy years. Cow. Longer than and more, we than, like, more than half your life. Yeah. Yeah. And we like grew up together. Right. Yeah. So right. Like a yeah. lot of that stuff he, he knows. knows about you. Yeah. yeah. She's like back when I was three. Oh wait. You four or five. You were almost a part of my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't I love deep chocolate darks. ice cream. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The deepest, darkest. Yeah. So it's good. Cause then, you know, it spurs up stuff. something different. Yeah. To ch- chat about yeah, yeah. I so think those like games those. can be really helpful and I was just gonna say I think it really is hard when you're in your day-to-day lives you guys are busy you know you may be crossing paths but you may not have like the time like I said for like that deep connection but yeah some of these are really good like easy yeah so the first one just says like kiss hello and goodbye so like even when you're even just in passing but it says to take like at least 30 seconds for like a good like have a great day love you whatever or we're hi and then kiss I love that. Yeah. My aunt and uncle, I like, it, that's one of the things, my aunt Lisa, you guys mm-hmm. know, um, they always do that. Like anytime we're all together, sometimes we all get together and hang out and before my uncle's home from work. Mm-hmm. First thing, like yeah. always, I think it's the sweetest thing. And Mark is actually yeah. really good too. Yeah. I've I noticed, remember, I noticed with you guys. You mm-hmm. Yes. Like he's, he'll always kiss me goodbye and I'm usually still asleep. But I love it. I love, love, like he'll just give me the biggest, kind of a yummy, good kiss. <laughs> not like making out, but not making out. Cause like he's all brushed teeth, but I'm like, I haven't brushed my teeth yet this morning. So yeah. just don't do that. But just a good <laughs> smooch. And like, I love you. And I, oh, yeah, it just makes me happy. Sweet. And then he'll always come home and do it. Mm-hmm. I do think that those are the little things that add up. Yeah. You know, I'm not good at that. I'm not either. And I am yeah. a touchy person. I remember yes. thinking like, I, I remember we would like kiss at every stoplight, like that an- that <laughs> level oh. of annoying. Yeah. Right? Oh my god! And I, I don't know if we ever did like, that. Yeah, I know, I know, ridiculous. <laughs> but I was like, I'm never gonna lose that. But I 
life. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You just keep I mean, going. I'm, I think I'm good at like giving him a hug when he gets home, but then it's always like chaos. Yep. yep. Yeah. So yeah, that is something good to remember. Yeah, it is. It's just li- it's like in the like little stuff, like, like thirty seconds. Yep. Yep. I guess kiss. Yeah. yeah. We definitely are not as touchy as we used to be. Yeah. I remember yeah, going out with his sister specifically, and his sister being like, "Oh my gosh, if they kiss one more time, I'm gonna puke." <laughs> like she gets so fucked because we just <laughs> couldn't keep our hands yeah. off each other, and we always given pecks and kisses, whatever. So like it slowed down, no doubt. Oh, yeah. yeah. But those little daily things. Yeah. yeah. He actually does a pretty good job at. Yeah. I think it's hard with Cody working uh, from home because he just comes upstairs. But do you know what this actually says? This literally says, yes, even when you're both working from home and goodbye is when you head into your home office. Yeah. Oh, like even if you're But I don't want him to wake me up when he goes, like, because I won't fall back asleep. So I'm like, Mm -hmm. especially when he had to go to work really early, I'd be like, don't Don't wake me up. Don't touch me. (laughs) Just I'll see you when you get home. Right. Because well, I get that I w- would be up. Under yeah. Right. I, I, oh, yeah. Same. I get that for sure. For me, I'm waking up shortly after. Sometimes I'm even up before he goes. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, but yeah. I get that for sure. I need to be better at that. Even it's leaving. Fun. Yeah. I yeah. need to be better. I Sometimes it's just runaway. Run when I always yeah. hear, <laughs> not to take it to a dark place, but that whole, like, you just never know. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I yeah. always, sorry. Gosh, I know. Yeah. I know I don't want to go there, but you hear those You did. You stories. went there. <laughs> but it's and true. I always think about yeah. that. I'm like, man, I don't ever, no. I want to make sure I get a good hug and kiss yeah. every It's time. like when they pass out in front of you and you're like, this is it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't shared that story on I know. Here. It's fine. One day I made my. Okay. <laughs> Still as PTSD. Uh, yeah. You're just gonna leave them all hanging. Yep. yep. Hey, well, John passed friends. out a few weeks ago, and it scared the pits crap out. out of me. Yeah. <laughs> you just never know. Your husband you may pass know. out, and you may be really nervous and scared. <laughs> um, and I think it helps. It can help keep a marriage strong in the long run. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like I think yeah. when you forget those little things, mm-hmm. then I just feel like everything starts to trickle and fall apart. Yes. You know? Yeah. I want my kids to see that too. Yeah, yes. the physical like yeah. hugs and kisses and I love yous and yeah. like and to know that that is like normal and good to be that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. same. Have a love like that. Right. Yeah. Hopefully, I know. I mean, Mark and I aren't perfect all the time, you know. Sometimes we well, John get a little totally snippy perfect. at each other, you know. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't fight the kids dinner? <laughs> yeah. You know, like that. <laughs> yeah, in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and I were like, uh... <laughs> Oh, Molly, you see that move? Was like, that was a bad one. They were like, oh, that was <laughs> awkward. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it wasn't it was awkward. that awkward. It was awkward. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you snapped at him, bad. and he snapped back, and we were like. Just about we dinner, just and then we were like, there. oh, sorry. 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 You didn't say yeah. sorry until yep. you were inside, though. Oh, that's true. Anyway. True. Yep. <laughs> All right, another you way. You know what, though? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know what I think it is? What? I feel like every relationship, sometimes there's one that's a little more snappy than the other, but there's always sure. one that isn't, right? Yeah, so like, I think we've all probably witnessed some snappiness, but the other partner usually won't say anything. I feel like I'm more snappy. Uh, no. I think more snappy? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. No, you're the one that takes it oh. for sure. Well, just not in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's off limits. <laughs> Connection. Right? Not in the right? butt. It's the only way. <laughs> you and Cody are both so chill and cool though i will say that i get snappy yeah i don't call him he doesn't ever get snappy no ever i have seen all the dudes get grouchy except cody i saw him yell at one of the at tyler the other night come inside or something oh yeah that was the loudest i've ever heard really (laughs) yeah that is the only time i've ever heard him get loud is when he's calling the kids like it whatever shocked me i was mm-hmm. like yeah cody Get him. you can't be loud yeah your volume does go m- more <laughs> point up whatever it goes uppercase he was, yeah, yeah he was talking in uppercase uh, he was uppercase. i do feel like he's generally marks. very just kind and chill though yeah he yeah. does not get mean no if, you know what i mean he does it that's good some of the other dudes get old man grouchy he doesn't oh yeah. uh, he does does he yeah you've he's just, just never just seen it more quiet about it i think he he will get a little gruff yeah <laughs> a little gruff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I really like this one. This is like 
I think this would be a good example for our kids too, but this just says be open. So chances are high that your partner is asking you things because they genuinely mm -hmm. want to know. Responding to a, how was your day or how is the store or how was your run with more than just a shrug and a fine, how was yours is important. So share your excitement and worries, your wins, losses, what made you laugh, what pissed you off and everything in between. So I think Love that's that. good. Cause you know, when you're asking your kids even about their day and they're like, Oh, it was great. It's fine. I think like if you show yeah. that, like between you and your partner and your kids see that, I think that's really good too. Yeah, and agree. also I think it's good for like follow-up. So if you're learning this stuff and you're listening and you're paying attention, then it makes it really easy for future conversations. You can be yeah. like, Hey, yesterday you were really upset about this thing. Like how did that go or whatever? How are you doing today with it? I think it just helps engage more. Yeah. Like those open-ended questions. Yeah. Not just like the yes or no answers. Like, right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Stir okay, up an actual conversation. Yeah. Yes. So I think a lot of these things are good in any, like in, in any relationship that you want to be good. And just being True. open about like stress or yeah overwhelmed or feelings. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I've watched a lot of relationships where one person's just super quiet and you see over time, like how much of a strain that takes on, on people, on them and on their relationship. And yeah, I've never seen them end well. Right. It's you true. know, so just to be like, sometimes I'll just have meltdowns. I yes. probably look like a crazy person, but I feel like after that is such a, like a breath of fresh air. Right. Like same. you feel so much more supported. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're kind of a little, you get maybe back on the same page again. Right. I agree. I need to be better at that. Same. Uh. I'm, I'm literally thinking that's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm really bad at like, like Matt that. usually knows though. I'll be like, really? he's like, what's that going on? I'm like nothing. <laughs> he's like, yeah, sure I can like tell nothing. it's nothing. <laughs> and I did that for a long time. I would just be like, suck it all up and you know do yes. everything or yes. like hold it in but it like doesn't get you anywhere no. it just mm -hmm. like made me more like resentful I guess yeah so now it's like hey I need help with this or I need whatever you know yeah. xyz and I noticed a huge difference between us and how I feel yeah. like I don't have resentment or anger and I think it's just from saying what I need yeah and I agree. being honest about that yeah I think that's a really good thing I agree I, I mean, you know me, I definitely speak keep it all inside for sure. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I do, but I have like had to work on being kinder and how I do that. Cause I can be a little snippy. I know I can and fiery, you know, like just the other night, how I watched babysat my niece Mila yesterday, the day before it's like, we just had this giant pile of dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a super busy weekend and then we had Mark's birthday. And so it was just like, just the cleaning Daily cleaning that I usually try to do didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I was like, babe, we got it. Like, I just, looking at those dishes, it's just daunting to me. I just, I don't want to do them all by myself. And he's like, baby, I'll help you. I got you. He's always happy to jump in. But none of us did any dishes that night. And I was like, I am going to be so overwhelmed tomorrow morning. He woke up extra early for work and did a giant load of dishes, like picked a lot of stuff up. And when I woke up the next morning, I was like, I sent him the nicest text. I'm like, thank you so much. Like That's you have nice. no idea. It just, there was still lots to do, but he did so much. It gave me that like, oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I have that motivation to get it done. It's not so daunting. Like, mm -hmm. but I think it's because we talked about it the night before, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and I was kind about it. I wasn't like mad at him. I was just like, it's just so much. Like, I don't want to do it all on my own. I really need the help. So John and I had a similar that was conversation. Really <laughs> Yeah. And the same though. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause I, it's been such a busy week. Yes. Same. And I feel like I haven't had time to like, like we went to Trader Joe's on Tuesday. Most of the stuff is still not even put away. Like we've just been eating out of the things like, um, the dishwasher, someone ran the dishwasher cause the kids are not doing their regular chores, which I try not to get as hard on them during the school year because they already have right. homework and stuff. Right. Matthew could handle a little bit more cause he usually doesn't have homework and then he just sits around and does nothing and is bored. And I'm like, well, <laughs> anyway, but the I've dishes got a list for you. <laughs> yeah. So someone had ran the dishwasher. It was clean, but then dishes were piling up. There were still leftover groceries. There's dirty dishes. There's like cutting boards with crumbs and toasters out and there's just stuff everywhere. And you know, like when you have that dirty area, it like adds to your whatever. Totally. Anyway. So last night I was talking about it and I was like, oh, I know the kitchen's a mess. I don't really, and he's like, oh, I get it. He's like, I walked in and saw it and I was like, yeah, I don't want to deal with this. And I was like, that's how I feel a lot of time. So I'm glad yeah. that you like understand, you know, when it's not getting finished, he's like, yeah, it's not, it's fine. I totally get that feeling, you know, and whatever. 
Well, he didn't wake up extra early. <laughs> 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 <Just so you know. laughs> I'm sure it's because Mark knew. If I don't, she might be in a mood tomorrow. <laughs> so I better just do it. Yeah. I quickly did it before this. So now it's like picked up a little bit. There's still a little bit to do. But anyway. Right. It's hard. That stuff just piles up yes. so fast. So fast. You've got so many moving parts in a household. I know. If I do something every day, every day, it'll be fine. Yeah. But if I want a day off, Mm-mm. it's gone. Mm-hmm. The whole bomb. Yep. And that's the part that's hard. Yep. Because so then the bomb goes off and then I look at the bomb like, F you bomb. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I know. And then I another bomb this. goes off and I'm yeah. like, fuck, <laughs> now I'm real overwhelmed. Yeah. Bye. You know what I mean? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Um, so we already talked about this, this one a little bit, but like being interested in them. So when they're talking to you and you're listening and you're paying attention, so like what battles they won, lost at work or with the kids, what podcasts they're listening to, what, yeah. how, how bumped into when they had their walk, all these things. So when you're, when you're interested and you're paying attention to all those things, I think it matters. And then it says, um, remember their responses, like I said before. So if you're remembering what they're responding with, like that's showing interest that you care, all of that. True. Um, we talked about this too, like just knowing their past already, like, but it says, just be curious. So always wanting to know more about like their desires, what they want in the future or more about their past or maybe you should do like um, vision boards together. Yeah. That's a really good, good idea. Thing. I'm going to get you one. Do you know what? I know. A I'm marriage, not kidding. A marriage vision, vision board. board. There you go. Do you know, I came <gasps> home with mine the other day and I was really yeah, excited and I, sh- idea. and I showed John and the next day he goes, you know, I was talking to so-and-so at work today about your vision board, you know, and it really got me thinking. And I, and I was like, nice. See? And then he, like, it started. Yeah. It's oh. it, like those, are, not that it has to be a vision board. <laughs> no. Smart ass. Jeez. She is. Molly. <laughs> but like. Okay. You are on the vision <laughs> board. Bad Molly. She's mad at me. It <laughs> is. I'm feeling picked on. <laughs> are you? <laughs> it is good to make sure I think every once in a while, like. Cody and I will have a dinner and we'll be like, what do we want? What's like our kind of like goal or yeah. Like, I think it's good to be on the same page, whether yes. it's like with yes. money or with house chores or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be an actual vision board. Yeah. It can just be like setting, like these are some priorities we have yeah. for this or whatever. I've said multiple yeah. times on Sundays, we need to do like a family meeting because we have was, so much. Oh, going I was on. just so telling times. Cody that I was like, I want to like, have we done we it? We used to do it as a kid. No, John laughed used to at me have every family time I meetings. So I think Matt's family did too. We never did, but I'm like, like what kind of family have, meeting? Just like discussing what's going on throughout the week, because like there's oh. appointments that like all have that he doesn't know mm-hmm. about. So I'm not mm-hmm. just like springing things on him. Like, hey, I have this, this, and this, or like, hey, the girls both have practice on this day. Who's gonna gotcha. do what? I'll take care of dinner idea. this day, yes. but I have this ready yeah. for this day mm-hmm. if I'm not here at this time. Just like, yeah. Yeah, I right. just kind of going through the week. I saw an idea where they would that's include the idea. kids and have them yeah. give a dinner suggestion. Oh, that's and I was like, that's too. Like with my picky ass eaters. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I want to start doing that because if they pick it, I think they'll be a they'll little more it. excited yeah. about yeah. it. I've heard that that's too. If they point. help, either if they yeah. help or help pick it, yeah. that they're more likely to eat it. Yeah. But I've said we we haven't done any either. I know. I've said this like since the summer. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a great idea. In theory. It is a great, great idea. idea. No, I've tried to do it multiple times. And like I said, John just laugh at me. Like, <laughs> maybe could you this? do it once a month? Or maybe that's too that's, far. I think yeah. that's too much. I feel like maybe once a week. It doesn't is. have to be long, especially yeah. if you're oh, doing it weekly. Yeah. That's true. And I agree. There's so much that comes up. There's so many yes. times I text Mark. I'm all, oh, shit. Can you get home uh-huh. ASAP? I yeah. got to be to this spot. Or like, yeah. I literally just did that to him this week. That's, I think it's a good idea. I think so too, but mm-hmm. uh, we haven't yeah. followed through yet. And he, he's so cute. He wants to come to every practice for all, all of our kids. We, we both did it with Rock. But I told him with Frey's gymnastics, I'm like, you know, we can trade off. Like we don't both have to go so we don't take all the kids. Because sometimes it can feel chaotic, you know, especially with Zeta. She's almost two. She just wants to be everywhere. But he's like, but I want him afraid to know I care and I want to see her and I want to watch her I'm like that's so sweet because that he didn't have that from his dad yeah. so it's so important to him to do that right so I love it but I'm like but still we can still try this <laughs> still, <laughs> this is hard. Kind of crazy <laughs> right it's a lot um this is exactly what what Kim was saying when you're truthful about your feelings what you're saying it helps your partner better understand you and what you're feeling and then like what kind of energy you know you have going like anyway I think it's super good healthy um taking joint 
work breaks. <laughs> this one, I don't know. It's like, if you can, even if it's just ch- uh, 10 minutes, just checking in, like give them a call or send them a text and just like, you know, I, I actually love the spontaneous uh-huh. text messages. Too. Like, hey, I'm thinking about you. I love you or whatever. Those are like my favorite. Cause it's like, oh, they're thinking about me. Yep. You know? It just I, means I something. agree. Those spontaneous yeah. messages. I love so them. Oh, good. I know. Me too. And I notice when I don't get them. Like, I'll be like, oh, I haven't heard from him today. <laughs> Is he even <laughs> thinking about me? And I could easily just message him. I yeah. need to be better. Mark is the one that's like really good at those little things. Yes. Like, I don't usually um, pursue the kiss goodbye or hello. It's him. It. Like, I need to remember I should do it too. Like, yeah. I could send him a text. If I don't hear from him, I should send him a text. Yeah. Thanks. This is helping me too. There you go. <laughs> I feel like Mark's good at this stuff. I'm not. Good. It's good. It's good reminders. Yeah. Um, expressing appreciation, which sometimes yes. we forget, you know, yeah. I think sometimes we take for granted the amount of help we're getting and we forget to like, Hey, thank you so much for helping with bedtime tonight. Thank you so much for whatever it may yeah. be picking up the kid or taking the kid or, or thank you for that text today. Like I really appreciated that in my day or whatever. You're right. I think, um, it's the little things. It the is. Little things. <laughs> this one says, <laughs> look them in the eye. There's a reason eye contact is so intimate. It is. <laughs> it's so true. I know. Sometimes. Sorry, I'm just thinking about Hi. <laughs> Did you want to look me in the eyes? Yes. Just look at me. Hi. <laughs> say, Mark does this thing. He's toned it down. But like he'll be drinking like water or something. He'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> like so intently drinking but staring at me right in the eye. I'm like. You look really creepy right now. What are you doing? <laughs> he was having a moment with you he and his drink at the same time. <laughs> and I caught him. Was he finishing a yogurt? And same thing. He was like, so intense. And, he, and I was like, looking at him, I was like, oh my God, what is he doing? And then he looks at me as he's like eating. I'm like, stop. <laughs> That's all he's I can think about. He's just trying to be intimate with you. <laughs> trying to connect with you and the food and the, and food. the water. But this there is why. Go. Listen, looking your partner in the eye is an easy way of forming a deep emotional connection it's and true. getting a nice joint. Oh, sorry, a nice jolt of feel-good oxytocin in the oh. process. Do okay. it when you're listening to them and when you're eating food and when you're doing it. <laughs> it's weird. And it says when you're it right drinking there. water and eating yogurt. <laughs> yeah, <see? What? laughs> sure. Wow, uh, he must have read this. And speaking of which, <laughs> listen, really listen to them. I love that. That is, put your phone down. Don't interrupt. Don't offer unsolicited advice. That is just true of any relationship. If I someone's agree. coming to you and they're talking to you, do not offer unsolicited advice. No. And listen, don't interrupt me, damn it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'll do the same for you, you know? Just listen. I'm just kidding. Mark's really good. <laughs> yeah. And you, but you know you when you're lot. telling a story, like, and I just how I interrupted yeah. you, uh-huh. you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> I'm not so even weird. done. Yeah. And you're talking over me already. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Fine. Sometimes it's hard because Cody can't hear me. <laughs> so he just starts talking. So he's like, what? I'm like, are you even listening? Mm. <laughs> oh That's hard. He you starts on p- his own conversation. Yeah. You're yeah. like halfway through this like I long. Do. You're like, what? <laughs> Sometimes he'll respond and I'll say, um, what do you think I said? Because he, like, he's responding not in to what, what I said. Anything you said. Like that, you, he's all, uh, blue cheese. You're like. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys you both need to do sign language, like take some sign language classes. Yeah. And you can start signing as That's why talk. I get, like, it probably sounds really rude, but I'll, like, kind of yell at him because he can't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to talk loud. And, I, like, I have to, he's, he's like, you don't enunciate. And so I'll talk really loud like this. And then you hear me. <laughs> yeah. He wants you to really pronounce your words uh-huh. so he can read your lips. <laughs> I wouldn't know what you were saying if you really talked like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The other part, list, like, or, um, tell them they're heard. Um, explicitly telling your partner that you've heard them can make a difference. You still, you might still be trying to understand their perspective. You may even disagree, but knowing they've been heard regardless is powerful. True. I hear It's you. funny because you, you think of this in terms of your kids. And I, was, your, I was just thinking like the all same about thing. That. Like, it really is. Oh, I understand you're sad, but I'm like, yep. I d- don't do that with Matt. I no. know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, I, I hear you. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't understand, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> I understand you I think upset. it's just kind of like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. What? I know. It's probably because with our spouse, 
we look at them as like, okay, you're an adult. You can handle it. Yeah. And I don't have the energy, which is sad because you <laughs> no. you have, yeah. you should, right? It's like they need it too. But that's probably, you know, I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. And yeah. you're in the yeah. thick of it. You're like, oh, I've been doing this whole. Yeah. If you have kids, you're already. I, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I love you. Yeah. You're safe. And with your spouse, you're like, get it the f- over it. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> you can handle this one on your you own. This one, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> But you're right. Go on, take a, that. Go back to bed. Nap. I do. I've told. I've told you this. When Mark and I intellectually connect e- without sex, even without sex, we feel literally equally as close as we do with sex, mm-hmm. like emotionally. Yeah, like that yeah. little thing that I'm talking about. When we're like have those discussions, those yes. cards. Like literally, our conversation the following day will always be like, "Oh man, sex was so fun last night." And then, the, or it's, if it's just a great intellectual conversation mm-hmm. next day, "Oh babe, like I love like what we talked." And we'll talk yeah. more about it. It's it really is equal. Mm-hmm. Like, I think they're both so, so important. Yeah, I agree. Be receptive of feedback without being defensive or cranky or diffusing it with humor. It's hard. But listening and understanding. Why are you I'm at guilty me? of that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know you do the same. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're both the oh, same probably. in that way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it says, like, um, so lis- but listening to and understanding someone's criticisms is how we grow, and growing together equals greater connection. Yeah, that's true. I think, in, and especially coming to like, or coming from your partner, the person who like probably knows you better than anyone else who spends the most time with you. If they have like some kind of feedback for you, it's probably crap. And they probably mean well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's probably shit. shit. Just like, <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't about. know me. You don't know you don't me. Know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know my life. But clearly right? they probably mean well by it. Right. Like they have I good know. intentions. Yeah. Yes. Matt, just, just give kidding. her all the feedback she needs. She's going to be really receptive now. Trolls <laughs> of the week. <laughs> I do feel like it a little defensive. Yeah. I do. I do. I think it's a natural thing, though. And probably because you're, like, trying your hardest, and you're like, I'm doing my best. Right. 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 And then if someone's trying to correct you on something, yeah. you're like, oh, F you. Yeah. Right. And I always do it right, so. I know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no, All right, Kim. I think we're really you're good. Making, you were making person. progress yeah. here. Yeah. We're I mean, going back again. Good. This actually hasn't <laughs> happened to me yet. I, I do everything perfect, so no one's ever come to me with yeah, it. I don't relate to this yeah. at all. Mm. I was going to delete that one, but I thought some of you might need it. So, so. love it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right. It's true, though, because oh. I think, sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I remember a, pers- a girl I worked with. She was married to her husband for a long ass time, like long as you and John. Like That's a long where they time. met where they met super young. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. And Mark and I were getting married. So this was a really long time. And she's like, My best advice is she's like, don't become two ships passing in the night. Yes. She said there was a time her husband's name was Jack, actually. She's like, Jack and I, and they seem like the best of friends. So when she told me this, I was like, What? She's like, We literally, it was like I get home, he gets home, hey. We go, I go watch my show. He go, goes and plays his game. Like some, it was like, they were literally two passing ships. And she's like, it probably went on for like a year. We almost lost our marriage and they worked really hard to get it back. And they just rebuilt that actual relationship because it takes effort. Yes. I think people forget marriage is a relationship just like staying in touch with your best friend is you have to work at it every day. And I was, that has stuck with me because I'm like, seeing them I would have never guessed it yeah you know they were very much in love very close and she's like we were in a very dark place in our marriage so I love that just a good daily reminder yep. that you've got to like, yes. don't, don't keep don't that going live like your roommates right right, right. yeah so, you know I think you have to and like I said at the beginning like we all know it's hard to sometimes especially if this isn't like a, a habit you know that we have to do these little things I think it has to become Otherwise, we're going to end up like that. It's a choice. Yeah. Like naturally, sometimes I do just want to go be a hermit yeah. and turn off. Same. Sometimes, like when my husband's home, love you, I need to go close the door and just be in a quiet room. You know, and don't get me wrong. We all need that sometimes, but I have to remember. Yeah. He probably needs me too. He's had a long day in a different way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think it's a good balance too, because I feel like me and Matt are good up until bedtime. And then once the kids go down, we yeah. do kind of go our separate ways. But I think that's also kind of good because... Yes. I feel like he doesn't get his time to do his things. You know, he uh-huh. he likes to play games or plays guitar. And right. he doesn't do that when the kids are awake because he right. doesn't want to take that time. I don't know. Yeah. And I'm kind of the same way. I'm like, I wouldn't mind watching my own shows. Yep. I so, think, but I think it'd be good, better 
for us if maybe we took like I mean even 10 15 yep. minutes after the kids are in bed yeah. had a little discussion or whatever and then parted ways yeah. whatever yeah yep. yeah did they say it doesn't even take a long time you know? be like the season that you're in true yeah because I true. feel like by the time like with littles you just like sometimes I don't want to talk mm-hmm. I do just want to sit there and like turn sit my on the off. couch and watch a brainless show yeah because yep. yeah. I know that I haven't read it but Jay Shetty has a new book oh. and he like I've seen a few little snippets and he's like yeah sitting on a couch and watching tv isn't intimacy yep which I agree with uh-huh but sometimes I feel like right now like we do need that downtime yeah and for then sure. like sometimes we'll go to bed and like lay in bed and chat for a little bit but like yeah. sometimes you just need that minute yep. yep of like same thing Nothing. like Basically. Cody's been at work mm-hmm. all day he and then he like gets off takes care of the kids yeah and so you just need that time to like decompress. Right. So I think it's also come with the, the season of yeah. like totally. life you're in. And I'm sure it's a balance. It's like, okay, yeah. if that's what you're doing every day. Yeah. Or you're just watching TV and you're not connecting. That's yeah. when it probably gets damaging. But if it's like tonight, we're not, instead of going for a walk and hanging out, like let's just turn off and watch a show. You know, yeah. I think it's probably just a balance. There was um, this lady. It was either... She was either interviewed by Jay Shetty or Mel Robbins. I can't remember. And she said that her and her husband, one of the best communication things they did when they were raising their kids is they would every day, they'd be like, where are you at? What do you like? How, what percentage do you have to give? Oh yeah. Yeah. And she was like, I've got, did I share this? Uh, You have at some point, I think. Okay. Okay. And she's like, I've, you know, I'm, I'm running at 40% today. He's like, sweet. I can cover you that 60. I got it. Like I'll do dinner and the dishes or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes like, Oh, I'm at 20. And he's like, I'm also at 20. And then they're like, well, okay, shit. Well, let's order pizza. So no one has to worry about dinner and dishes. Like I just thought that was so brilliant. Yeah. Cause there's times where we're both running on little to no steam. Yeah. She says if you don't add up to a hundred, you figure out a way that you can be kind to each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's so brilliant. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, try new things. In bed, in the kitchen, at a restaurant, adventurous builds, sorry, yeah, adventureness builds connection. To have sex in bed, Mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and at a restaurant. Yeah. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) (laughs) Meet me in the bathroom after the appetizer. Don't make eye contact with you say that. (laughs) (laughs) But you told me. (laughs) Okay, hug. Mm -hmm. Just hugging. Oh, yes. So at least for 10 I'll seconds. A good hug. I'm good at hugging. It's yeah. It's been proven to be the ideal amount of time, the 10 seconds, um, to get a nice rush of stress-reducing connection-enhancing hormones. Ooh, some endorphins. Mm-hmm. I think that hug it has to be at an appropriate time, though. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just saying, sometimes when I'm, like, cooking dinner yeah. or, like, we're trying to get out of the house, yeah. Cody will come and try to give me a hug, and I'm like, Durr. Then I feel like a jerk, same. but I'm like... Hug me when I'm like not doing anything. Yeah. I know you, we talked about this not in the, the bus slap too. We did, yeah. Like if I'm feeling anxious and I'm busy yeah. doing something, a nice big old butt slap is not, it's going to, yeah. like I'm not <laughs> just st- like. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll I take know. It. I'll take you it too. I know. For me, <laughs> if I'm already feeling anxious, that doesn't help calm me down. Yeah. It like heightens my anxiety. Do you know what I mean? Heightens sure. Something else yes. for me. Yeah. I'm like, hey. Cool, I'll meet you in the back room. <laughs> for me, it's like a little release of like, okay, mm-hmm. life's fine. Still thinks we're good. <laughs> yeah. He likes me. Uh, I mean, I get it. Like I sometimes, know. yes, stressful situations. You're already, you yeah. should communicate that. You should. <laughs> and tell them. Okay. Okay. Make eye contact when you do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I might maybe set aside of like a family meeting about it. Maybe. Yeah. And, and all yeah. hug, like have a group hug while we talk about it. While you talk about it. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> We don't really, we don't need any explanation for this one. Can okay. you guess what it is? Have sex. sex. That's right. Okay. So just do that. Listen to episode 69 <laughs> yeah. and, and go. Um, send a text. But anyways, that sex is important. <laughs> sex. <It's laughs> so about that, uh, that, we don't talk about that enough on here. Like uh, daily sex. It's, it's normal. Where the penis Have it enters. Every the day, <laughs> all the time. Vagina. Three not times belly a day, button. actually. That's <laughs> right. In the vagina. All right, send a text. Sometimes you might be having a busy day, but taking one or two minutes to send a text. Reminding is simple. Hey, thinking of you, yeah. love you. Love you. Okay, play together. Cards, board games, pickleball. Oh, don't play All games. the things with Matt. No pickleball? <laughs> pickleball works, but... 
I, we both get angry. Oh. He's like too competitive, games? and then I get mad that he's getting so mad at a dumb game. Like Monopoly, he'll get <laughs> everything. Well, uh-huh. I was oh, just he was grumpy that. during a. He was. I, that's why I was like trying to help him. I'm Face like, what do you, in? What do you yeah. need? Yes. Welcome. What do you I need? was my life. Even the kids lately. I like, don't want to play. I see this new side of Matt. Like he got grouchy at the concert, and he got grouchy playing games. I was like. This is weird. I always thought you were a really ge- nice, gentle guy. <laughs> like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just means it makes him more normal. Mark gets actually, you don't, he doesn't really play when we're all together, but we'll play games sometimes at home. And same thing. I'm competitive. We all know this. Mark's competitive too. <laughs> we'll like banter yeah, during a game. Not I'm a like, good, it's I'm not, not a good like, thing for uh, our relationship. Because uh, I'm just pissed that he's so, so let me skip that one. Right. Yeah, yeah, skip that right. one if you're if like you're, Molly and that. I do. We do like pickleball uh, and right. golf. If you're on the same team. Yeah, we can do Some like things. active stuff. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. Golf is your games own in thing. The, you yep. guys just try new games restaurants. In the bedroom. All the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a good one. Please. That's a win. It is. And we have sex. Connect, so. And health is sex. Yeah. Sex is good. <laughs> Make some time for silliness. Those who laugh together, who can laugh at themselves, and who are just in the habit of smoothing down the rough edges of life with humor are stronger that's for true. it. I feel like you guys are really good at that. Yeah. We do. Yes. You guys are probably like the best at you always seem uh, to be joking and laughing. Yeah. We Teasing each laughing other. do a lot. You guys are good, though, too. You and Mark. I, think I know we're the good, best, actually. John yeah. and I. We're really... Yeah, we're <laughs> we do the, we, the couples we're, challenge we're, every yes. Sunday. It's kind of like a known thing that we do it. Yeah, and it's good. So many people are like, oh, he's such a good sport. But I was like, it's not that big of a thing. Like, if you yeah. want to do that with a, your husband, it shouldn't be that big of an ordeal. It's right. time. And it's half the time, time. Like, last week when we did it, I'm done, right? I'm like, we're not doing this. And Matt's like, uh, maybe if I flip the other way. And I was like, do you really want to keep doing this? He's like, yeah, I want to try a couple more times. <laughs> so That's like, awesome. Uh, people think it's such a big di- but it's so fun. And I'm like, yes. we don't do it just for, we started a long time ago just for fun. Right. And I was like, I bet if we video these because of our laughs that it's going to. Yeah. But they're so fun to do. They, it yeah. looks like you're having fun. Yeah. That's why it's like, I don't know why people are like, he's such a ghost. He actually, he looks like he's having fun. Yeah, he'll do the faces yes, sometimes and course. like stop or whatever. Yeah. But he doesn't look like he's miserable. No, I know. I think it's Funny. cute. There We've been go. doing. We love to wrestle. That's like our yeah. not just like in the sexy time wrestle, but with the kids and as a family. We've always wrestled. I've always wrestled with my kids, and Mark's always the one like, "Whoa, babe, whoa, careful, not too rough." Like he, that's him, and I'm like, "Body slam!" <laughs> and the kids are <laughs> laughing so hard. But lately with the John Cena thing, you know how Rock's been talking about John Cena? Yeah. <laughs> we don't even watch wrestling. I did growing up, so I know. Well, we've been doing the, is it John Cena time? And Rock <laughs> and Freya will start laughing. And then Zeta gets up there and I'll go, da, 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 da. And I pick him up and I'm like slamming him on the couch. And then we'll all get together and say, let's get dad. We all get, it's, that is like. Cute. You know, like those moments where you're like, oh man, if I was outside looking in, I would yeah. love yeah. to see how yeah. cute this is. Silliness. That's been a fun I was thing. joking with Matt the other day. I was sitting down. We were talking about, oh, whereas I told him we were going to go to Costco as a family. He's like, <laughs> really? Are we? I was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I what love about, Costco. I was like, we what about family? me or you go? <laughs> and the other one stays with the kids. I was like, no, we're all going. And I get up. <laughs> and well, I, I go, you love my ideas, huh? And he's like, oh. I get up. He's already running because he knows that I am going to run after him and jump on him. So he's already run like halfway down the street. I'm like, how'd you know I was going to do that? He's like, yeah, I know. Down the street or down yeah, the hall? Down the street. We were really? outside. I was oh. on the grass. I think I had done it to him already that day where I told him something that he would find annoying. And then I chased after him and jumped on him. That's awesome. Like it was a good idea. Did anybody get hurt? No, that was good. So far. <laughs> I'll end it safely. Okay, have some tech free time. No TV, no phone, no laptops, podcasts, none of it. Schedule it in the calendar. Use I'm the, bad at that. Use the, the time to plan or talk or whatever. Okay, here's some. We do it at dinner. Let's do some quick ones because we're in our good at it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. At dinner time? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's been good. Okay, take a walk and hold hands while you do it. Um, relive some of your favorite memories. There's a lot of power in the phrase. Remember that time when. Um, same goes for looking through old photos. Oh yeah, flirt because who doesn't want to know they've still got it? It's true. Um, empathize with them. That is really try and consider yourself in your partner's shoes and understand what they might be going through. 
It's a powerful habit. Learn their love language. Argue. It's easy to shy away from conflict, but conflict, and we mean conflict done well, leads to more connection down the road. I should learn that one. Mm -hmm. I've heard that because you don't want to get to a place where you're numb. Yeah. Put that you on know? your vision board. Yeah, I should. Yeah. <laughs> Two people like yelling at each other. Fight ah. with John You're going to be like, what is that Put for? it on the calendar. We're going to fight. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to hash it out. We're going to hash it out. Um, give one another alone time. See? There you go. Balance. Yep. That's right. Making sure both of you get some alone time, whatever that looks like, keeps you both happier. Besides, it's nice to miss one another. How else do you know that connection is there? And I think, I like, I need more alone time than Cody does. Yeah. So I think recognizing that yeah. mm -hmm. has been good for I us. I think everybody has different... Cody, give Kim her needs. time. <laughs> Leave this me is alone. your direct message. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The whisper in your ear. That's right. <laughs> and give one another the benefit of the doubt, too. At times when something goes wrong, it's good to realize that. Whatever happened, your partner probably had the best intentions. True. It's good well, We've even talked about that in our friendship. Like, none of us would ever intentionally try to hurt the other one's feelings right you know i've also heard though this is by my friend mel robbins mm, no. she said mm, no. be intentional though like be intentional yes and i loved that because it's like people sometimes lean, always lean on well i didn't intentionally do that yeah. just be intentional try to be intentional with your actions with your you know what i mean which i was like that's that another sense. great way of looking at it yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah um be a fan of them be psyched when they succeed, all that. I love that. Um, and then uh, tell them and show them that you love them. Do the things you know make them feel loved, respected, and appreciated. Steak. Do all the things. Buy them steak. <laughs> That's right. Steak. That's right. Apparently not enough. That's no. right. <laughs> this one's really but don't, small. Yeah, this yeah. is small. Don't get the $70 Wagyu steak, though. <laughs> Gee, don't do that. You'll never live that one down. You won't. <laughs> I think I those, love you, honey. I think those little <laughs> acts of appreciation are really great too. It's true. They I definitely. Just, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say they definitely get passed over with kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I was gonna say I just I feel like sometimes I get pretty selfish. I have to remind myself. You know, I think it's we just all like, do. Yeah. yeah. Do you, I f I feel like I'm so busy with the kids, and I'm like, but he's just as busy. Yeah. With work with and work. like he's just as tired. But I at, so I'm at like a constant reminder like it's not all about me right i know that sounds terrible no, but really no, i'm like no. i have I to it. remind myself i'm glad like, you yeah. recognize that molly i yeah. wanted to talk about <laughs> it. it's all about <laughs> me my vision board this is my world that you're living on. i think it's hard. hard when you're in like the day-to-day yes. -day with all the kids and yes. like yes that feels just more chaotic but they're also at work like and Dealing work is exhausting children. too it like is. it's yeah like your, your brain exhaustion. feels just like fried at the end of the day and like i'm bad at that too yeah because yeah. i'll be like oh, i was with the kids all day and it's like yeah. he worked and all it's day. kind of what right. you're saying yeah. like being intentional if i'm intentionally like thinking oh i need to think of him too it's it's better for all of us yeah, yeah. Instead yes. of just being like because then it gets in my head i'm like oh why isn't he doing this for me? And like, right. I'm tired and yeah. I'm blah, blah, blah. But if I'm like, oh, he's tired also. We're both, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to explain, but I love, uh, yeah, I do have to remind myself. Let's be a little, a little less selfish here. S same. Molly. <laughs> same. Cause I've been guilty of like essentially passing off the kids the minute yeah. he gets home and I've gotten better. Cause I, I know, I know he's exhausted in a different yeah. way. Yeah. Um, very, maybe a similar way he teaches, <laughs> but like, yeah. you know, I know he's pooped too. Yeah. So I've tried like the whole be intentional of like, how are you feeling today? Do you need 10 minutes? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's good. I think this week just being busy, I don't feel like I've been very connected with John. And that's kind of why this was on my mind. Cause I was, I was like, this is, this is a good did Reminder. you like my text beforehand then? Yes, <laughs> I did because I was feeling it. And I was like, this will be I text, perfect. I said, can we go right to podcasting? Because I feel like I haven't hung out yes, with Matt yes. much. <laughs> but like I said, I've been feeling the same. And even though he's going to watch his show with a friend, I don't think he'll be gone late. And then, you know. Well, and that was good communication. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's great. So hopefully, even if you don't have a partner, hopefully some of these can help, you know, some of your any relationship. Any relationship. Any yeah. friendship, Friends, relationship. Parents, kids. Yep. Family. Yeah. All of it. So I've got anything else? That's really good. Well, that's, that's good. Fun. Just eye contact. Eye contact. <sighs> eye 
contact and vision yeah, board. <laughs> and, and make your vision board. Okay. <laughs> You're doing it, Molly. That's right. Good Put job. all the calendar. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to come bring you some stuff and we're going to do it. In between the three games together. and the... Get monster. Yep. I'm going yep. to yep. come to a game with you. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll do it at the it monster truck rally. Time. <laughs> Half time. <laughs> with our headphones <laughs> on. Molly. Give me eye contact. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> Be intentional with That's your right. vision board. That's right. <laughs> okay, make sure you're following us on Instagram. Subscribe to YouTube. YouTube. And we love you. Thanks for listening. Love you. Bye. Peace out. Bye.